Good afternoon. Welcome to a little chat about this wonderful time we're experiencing. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, this is a series of talks I've been talking about self-mastery and today is probably more relevant than any, any other because of the experience that we're having with the external input, meaning that there's a lot going on out there. Now I'm in California where basically there was three, three tiers of influence from president down to governor down to mayor who's saying a lot of stuff about things in California which other states may or may not have the same experience with. But what I want to speak to is about how we navigate this. Because we're in the middle of what is basically a once in a generation experience, which isn't necessarily easy. Um, and there's a lot of stuff out there, just to be clear. A lot of content out there, both pro and against, both uh, true and fake and everything in between. So I'm not speak to any of that. Because frankly, what I want to speak to is how you navigate this. And also how you find yourself back to your heart. I've been talking about this a lot recently. I, I didn't plan doing Facebook Lives again for a while after I finished my thousand Facebook Lives before. But then I got inspired to talk again. So this is the sixth, seventh one in the series of talks. I've been talking about self-mastery as the theme because it's really about how do we navigate ourselves? How do we manage ourselves no matter what's going on out there? And right now is an extreme example of what that feels like. So if you're like me, you probably are, um, there's there's a, there's two things going on. Well, two two opportunities going on one is to stay home do nothing stay away from everything and isolate which is interesting on itself which I talked about yesterday um but on the second part is when you go out in the world how do you function in the world there's so much out there and i've been seeing some interesting facebook posts and videos and stuff out there as well like just to side by completely there was um, a video i saw online of um a bunch of school teachers who are off school right now because school's closed that are driving around the neighborhoods where the kids are, waving out the windows to them as they go by. So it's safe distance, it's, it's physical um, I, physical um, distancing. I don't like the term social distancing, it doesn't work for me. Because we can be social in social media too. So I talk about physical distancing. Anyway, so the, 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 the teachers driving down the street in their cars, like in a procession, waving at the kids in the neighborhood where they, the kids from their, school, their classes, which is so heartwarming to feel that. So there are people are being creative with this too. But the other piece I want to talk to is the energetics, the feeling, the experience you may be going through. And there's a lot of stuff out there about how you can up love your vibration and everything else. I'm speaking more to about how do you actually gauge where you are and how do you deal with it. I went out today, first I went for a walk um, to go get something from, my, from one of my uh, friends who's more frail than I am. And so I went to get her medication for her. So I went to um, the local uh, Rite Aid, but walking over there, I was noticing the people who were around waiting to go into the, the market or people waiting in the parking lot. There's a lot of stuff going on energetically. People are feeling this... Um, tenseness, tenseness is not the right word. Maybe nervousness is the better word. Now, <laughs> there's also people out there don't give up. They're, they're totally oblivious of this as well. But if you're like me, you have a certain awareness of the fact there's something going on besides just the physical um, virus experience. There's a journey we're all going on. And this one I want to speak to is more than anything else is that we have this opportunity right now as individuals to become greater than we were, to own our space in a way, to actually become more, not just to get by, because, you know, it's like when things happen, like um, if there's a power outage, for example, and there's no power, or if there was an earthquake like there was in uh, Croatia, um, in Zagreb, I think it was, there's, the power was out. It's like that's been happening. People have had power outages, and you just you make do with that and you get through it. This is different because this is an unknown, unspecified, invisible, unpredictable, unplanned experience we're going through, and it is going to be going on a lot longer than some people are saying. You know, so, so certain a certain person was saying it's going to be two weeks max, which is like, yeah, right. We're basically in this journey for the long haul. We're going to be in this experience that right now I would I would expect for at least another two months, maybe three, based on what the world's been doing and what other countries are doing, just to be like planning ahead. So if you're thinking, oh crap, what am I going to do for the next two or three months? I've got some ideas for you. Because navigating your own journey and becoming greater than you were before you started is what I want to speak to. Because for some people, this is a journey where they've already had um, a taste of or an experience of growing and becoming more who they are. And for some people think they've got it made. They're going to make it through, it's going to be fine. I have a suggestion for you. If you have had 
some teachings, lessons, growth that make you feel like you've got it handled, I still recommend you want to check this out. If you haven't had any, even more reason why you check this out. This is a good time, if anything, to stay connected. With all the stuff we're doing with physical distancing, I'm not, again, I'm not talking about social distancing because we have social media, we stay connected by phone and by messaging and stuff like that. We're physically distancing just to keep that safety for the physical ailment. But it doesn't mean we can't have emotional closeness. It doesn't mean we, can have, we can't have um, heart closeness through other forms, whether it's through Zoom or FaceTime or some other way, even through this. There's ways to stay connected. The second part is also, is this is an, a vital time I recommend, to not isolate. Although you are isolating in place according to the rules, don't isolate emotionally. Don't isolate, fit, um, don't shut your heart down. Because I know some, I know people who are actually doing this, who are shutting down so much, they're actually feeling like they've got, they've given up on being social anymore. They're shutting down completely energetically, and just isolating and 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 almost hibernating. You know, Netflix and chill. This is Netflix and hibern Netflix and hibernation. Not fun. So what I'm suggesting as an alternative, a recommendation, is to, if you're not already in one, find a community online, online. Just to be clear, you feel supported by. You know, one of the things I've been doing, and I was talking about this in the previous talks, uh, my friend Katie and I have been, have been launching a mastermind that starts tomorrow, actually, just in case you want to get into that, and I'll tell you about that in a moment. Because we want to support community, to have people stay together, be supported, and it's going to run two months, which may be enough time, we'll see if it actually outruns the virus um, limitations we're dealing with right now. Because it's important to stay connected. I'm also looking to work with some people who want to get some direct support one on one, who want to feel they've got someone's got their back. Because right now, it can be challenging with the way that the um, I say powers that be that was the right word the, the, the those people out who are, we apparently rely upon out in the authority figure land that we can't trust anymore or we can't rely upon anymore or we don't have the answers we need anymore this really is a lesson right now I believe in finding our, finding our answers and our authority and our intuition inside ourselves. it's something I've been aware of and been practicing for the last three, four, well, more than that, several years. And so I'm really clear that I want to be able, I'm, I'm in a place where I want to help other people gain that space themselves because it can feel really challenging when you're out in the world and stuff is coming at you from outside that you don't have any dominion over. The truth is you do, but you may not have remembered that. And a lot of people who watch my Facebook lives are friends of mine in the social media environment who are also coaches and speakers and teachers who know this stuff. But if you're somebody who's watching my Facebook live who doesn't have that resource for yourself, that group of people or the direct support to navigate and find your way back to your heart to trust yourself and feel independent of the um, roller coaster we're going through then please reach out to me with the mastermind tonight tomorrow I actually have a special um, I, have, I have a special deal <laughs> if you're interested in finding out let me know and I'll, send, I'll tell you about that as well the second part is is really if you're looking to navigate this with real support message me because I'm setting up some new um, coaching arrangements that will maybe more maybe very conducive to where you want to go. This is perhaps the best time to recalibrate and refocus where you want to go. If you're in a place between careers or looking to shift your paradigm and you want to work on some new new goals, this is actually with this so much downtime because we're basically not going out and doing stuff. It's maybe the best time to get support and get navigate to get clarity navigating where you want to go. So my invitation to you is to find that resource, whether it is with somebody you're already working with, whether it's with me, whether it's in the mastermind that I'm talking about, called Inspired Heart Mastery, by the way, um, reach out for that, get support. Do not shut down and isolate. You may have to do it physically, doesn't mean you have to do it emotionally. This, the language they keep talking about, which is in, this one of the things bugging me, by the way, you know, the um, social distancing, mm -mm, physical distancing. Um, what's the other one? Self, -is self isolation? No, it's the, the, the isolation term doesn't work for me either because it's about basically spending time with yourself. I've done talks before, and it's in my book about alone versus lonely. When you understand that being in your own space is actually a healthy thing, not a um, socially bad thing, then you recognize that being alone is a healthy thing. That's a whole other teaching we're doing here. I didn't really speak it very clearly, but I hope you get my point. My invitation to you, though, is to really find resource for yourself online either by phone, people you know, you can reach out to. Again, I'm offering my support. If you want to get more information about the, the mastermind or with directly with me, message me, I'll tell you about that. And if you have any questions about this talk, let me know as well. 
but my my invitation my recommendation my encouragement to you is is being in this place now where we're spending more time on our own or at least in our own houses maybe not other maybe we have other people people you're around but not meeting new people this is a good time to really spend time with yourself to really clarify what you're about because we're going to get through this we are going to get through this and it's going to be an interesting road definitely however it'd be nice to start when we get to the brand new space afterwards in a different place than when we entered it for some people this um, shift from normal life to during the virus experience was a dramatic and unfortunate plan or, or a, an, an unplanned experience now we're in it there will be an end at some point and I'm guessing three to four months maybe maybe less maybe two but I think it's less than that so the next few months things will be changing to a more normal life again but once you're in this I don't know how much time to use <laughs> this self-imposed isolation time is the time to do the inner work it's the best time to do the inner work because to be honest there's less distracting you out there because you're not out there in the world as much so I encourage you to look out for support however that is find things that make you happy find things that lift you up find ways to remember that you are okay as you are this is a time when it's very tempting for some people to spiral downward thinking they're not going to get what they want I disagree with that choice I recommend highly that you look at how you can actually raise up the, the spiral to where you want to go and I can help you clarify that so this is a nudge a reminder and a, a um, <laughs> an encouragement even to look at this as a choice that can make your life much more powerful more effective more successful because you become more alive tuned in and successful as well so reach out to me get some get some support get guidance if you choose how you choose that and uh, let's talk this is one of my talks I've done now this is my seventh in this new series I'm talking about I don't plan on doing these daily but stuff is happening lately so it's ever changing so maybe it's going to be more frequent if you want to check out my other talks message me I'll send the links for that as well so I've got a thousand broadcasts in my other series and this is number seven in a new series yes I've got a series of these <laughs> and my biggest reminder to you every single time after you choose to reach out to me and everything else is to please take care of yourself my resources are here to help you that mastermind will change your life in so many powerful ways because it's going to put you back in your heart in a new way that's more potent than you've ever had message me and find out more about that and uh, in the meantime again please take care of yourself I'll see you again soon